like a Bobby's ankle horn line. You know, my day job is at, at Penn. I work at Penn during the day, but ultimately I'd like to, uh, I think I'd like to be like a high school music teacher. You know, I'd like to teach privately too, because I, I do enjoy that and I don't get to do it too much because people, uh, people don't play the trumpet for too long because it's hard. I like kids. I like little kids. I'm good with little kids. Maybe from having three of my own, but I don't know if I'd have the patience to do that day in, day out. So I think I'd rather teach at the high school level. Hey, I think that was the best one we did. Yeah, yeah I got three boys. Is that good? Julian is eight, and Miles is five. And Gabriel's just turned two a couple weeks ago. So they're a handful, but we have a good time. All the kids love music, uh, but I'm, I'm not, I don't really want to push it on them too much just because then it won't be fun for them. And, you know, and making a living as a musician is not, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily advise trying to do that. So, you know, I, I'd love music to be a part of their life, and I, you know, I, I want them to appreciate it, you know. So I want them to have fun with it, but Julian has a, a lot of, uh, natural abilities as far as you know rhythm and you know recognizing melodies and stuff so he's in third grade now he's taking drum lessons and just started and it's going really well and he picked stuff up and he pretty much taught him I taught him what the notes were you know there's a F A C E or the spaces and and uh, you know every good boy deserves fudge or whatever or the or the line notes and I taught him that once and he's off they are triangle blues. We did it. All right. So th we've wrote our Let's first start piece. it. Let's start it. We'll play the melody. We'll do it twice, and then we'll do some avant-garde jamming. And he starts writing his own music. He plays our piano. Miles actually plays some really cool stuff on the piano. It sounds like contemporary classical music a lot of times. He does some cool stuff. So uh, yeah, we don't push it, but you know they, you know they just naturally like music. And Sarah plays. My wife Sarah plays some piano too and you know my mom plays piano and her dad's a, a pianist and a composer so it's definitely music you know in, in their veins I just want to see what it's gonna what's what it's gonna be like when we show up in one room and start you know banging away and see what the, what the music sounds like. <laughs> I'm just crazy about music, you know, all kinds of music. I I, I, I need to hear it all the time. I, I need to be around it, uh, and. Uh, I have a, f a friend and, and bandmate in a couple groups, Elliot Levin, and, and he studied uh, and plays with Cecil Taylor, and, and he said that Cecil says, uh, and Bobby Zankel is part of Big Ears, is a uh, Cecil Taylor uh, alum himself, says that there's music everywhere, and you can, you can look at a tree and, and see music. You can watch clouds floating by, and there's, there's music in that. So, you know, I, I, I think uh, it's a nice way to look at life, is to always uh, look for the music and things. We invite you to log on and check out this process of artistic exploration called Big Ears.